Hello guys, today I'm going to try to draw this drawing that I've drawn with my right hand with my left hand and for those of you who don't know, I am a right-handed person so this is going to be interesting to see how it turns out so I was trying to draw an exact copy of this but of course while doing the guidelines I also have to do it with my left hand which is going to be really really hard okay. and I already regret that I've drawn this on the left side why did I even do that man so stupid this is so stupid man should have drawn that in on my right side but whatever <laughs> okay so I'm gonna just try to get all the position uh, on the right place why is it so low I don't know why so it feels very very strange okay and um, I'm gonna try to even shade at the end of this video so this is gonna be very man I can't even draw straight lines okay so so just for some extra information I've I actually have been trying to to write mid my left hand for quite a while for some months so I kind of are uh, is quite uh, good at writing with my left hand so that counts as some practice I guess but still drawing with my left hand is something that I have done maybe once or twice in my life and none of those times turn off to be good but this isn't meant to be good anyway this video it's not like it's something it's not like this drawing is gonna be a wallpaper or something but um yeah it's good I have a reference here though because that, that way I can just draw some very very vague and random lines I don't need to construct anything now so it's it's gonna turn out to be better than I think I guess okay here you gotta T-shirt and then a shirt, col collar shirt. Now, what is it called? It button shirt. Okay, and then it's the face, man. You know, when drawing anime face, you have to get almost everything to be in proportions in order to be to, for the character to look good. Even a very slight, uh, slight uh, disproportion will make the whole drawing look very very distorted it looks like it's some kind of abnormal person and that's probably what I'm drawing right now the eyebrow damn it can't even it's vibrating man it was very it hurts my left hand man it hurts okay so I'm just gonna explain my drawing a little bit so it's a girl that is a little bit angry at something that she's looking at mm, that is a little bit below her like here I don't know mm. and um, so uh, when I was drawing that drawing I was thinking about some kind of she saw some kind of uh, I don't know a, a bug or spider I don't know just gonna that is annoying her but she isn't kind of afraid either she's just very angry and annoyed by the thing that she's seeing and I really, never really thought about what she was looking at so there isn't like a story behind this like it's not even a, a like a scene that I've kind of made up is also not a character from an anime. Okay, so it's really good that I have this though, because just imagine I have to construct these kind of lines without my right hand, man. That would be disaster. And also now I can't even turn my paper. I mean, I can do it, but. I just don't like the idea of turning paper around so that you guys have to turn your computers around to get the view. 
correctly in the video. So, okay, so it's also a good thing that I've, I draw very vague lines because now, now you guys, even if it's distorted for some for some reason, you guys can't um, really see what's wrong with it because the lines are so distorted and messy anyway. Okay. And then it's the shading, which is gonna be really, really hard. Because I can't even move my the tip of my pencil to the place that I plan it to be. Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Okay, then it's the iris, which is gonna be around here. Okay, that I was looking good, but symmetry, I don't think it exists. It's really hard for me to have symmetry now. Some, some of the things are not like exactly in the right place. I mean, this could have been a better duplicate, but it isn't that bad, man, for a right-handed person to draw it with his left hand. And also, I'm not ambidextrous. I'm born right hand. I've been using my right hand for my whole life. I'm not like one of those pers uh, those people who can draw with left hand and right hand. Also, for, for, for those of you who don't know, actually, if you're born left hand, you're also better at using your right hand than people who are born right hand. That is because the society always makes tools and equipments for people that are right handed. So, right, left handed people are much more likely to be forced to use right hand uh, at many more occasions so they are kind of trained by the society to uh, by the society to be better at using their uh, left right hand but of course that's no excuse for me to be this bad though at using my uh, my left hand I guess I have to train this a little bit, but I, I don't know if it's useful. It's not really a useful skill to be good at left hand. It's just some, something for fun. It's like a challenge for me. Okay, so we kind of got, got the outline for the drawing done. It's just that a lot of things are very <laughs> distorted. It's full of distortions. This looks like something that's... Uh, just in the dream or something you can't see clearly it's not not that bad it's better than I expected uh, so since this isn't a really good drawing I'm, I'm not gonna try to draw it like as, uh, spend so much time on this because you know this video is gonna get long if I do that and also if, I think if I spend uh, an indefinite amount of time, it will be possible for me to get every single spot correctly. But I have to erase basically everything and get every single, every single small detail in the right place. Now I can just try to draw a stroke many, many times until I just luckily hit the right curve. But of course, I'm not gonna do that, man. I'm gonna do it with skills, I'm not gonna do it with luck. So I'm just gonna be a little bit quicker on my drawing. But of course if I if I were to draw it with my right hand. This would have been much quicker, but without the sketch or the reference that I'm using on my left side, it will would have been much slower, I'm guessing. Because Because now, now I'm just try, kind of tracing, but it's not uh, tracing that much either because, you know, I really need those guidelines to have drawn. 
in order for things to be in place and also it, the thing that I like with this drawing now is that it's quite symmetrical it's surprisingly symmetrical I was expecting it to be very not symmetrical because that uh, asymmetry is a thing is a is a um, what is it called is one of the problems that I have always had issues with and I can't get things to be completely in symmetry but this one is relatively good relatively good but maybe it's because I have a reference there I don't know or maybe it's just that I can't even see if it's symmetry or not because it's too too much lines everywhere it's just too messy for us to get the picture of whether it's symmetry or not damn my hand is kind of hurting now Okay. Okay, so I, I've seen some other people who who have done these kind of videos on YouTube, and they all draw with very clear lines. Not like me, and I'm just drawing a mess. I'm just kind of sketching now. But you know, for some reason, I just can't get my left hand to stay still. Every time I'm trying to draw a line, it vibrates back and forth creating those wavy lines this a man <laughs> it just isn't possible for me to get it done man really frustrating it feels like feels like constipation now man it feels like you you, you 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 want to sneeze but you can't do it or that you want to pee but you you just can't push the pee out of your out of your you know the thing okay whatever man this is relatively good I'm gonna accept this oh this circle is looking good man We're just gonna make this a little bit thicker and then add an eyelid. Okay, so there's some lines I need to add. Also, actually, ah, oh, how can I forget that? Buttons, you know, this shirt doesn't even have buttons. And also, what is this crease? There's no shadow in this crease, man. Miss, what a big mistake. It's always like that. I always forget things. That was, that's why my videos are always so bad at finishing. Because they, I always forget things and I, I always have to change things that I've drawn. You know. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to shade. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to do the cross hatching. I'm doing quite good, kinda. The the direction is kind of changing a little bit though. But you know, when you're doing the cross hatching, the direction is not that important as long as it feels like. A hole. I mean, the shade feels like a hole, not that it's you know divided between different regions because you can't get the direction to be, you know, harmonic. You know, because sometimes if you change direction suddenly, it will look like not look like they're connected. Ah, oh, you see, oh, man, this is embarrassing. I'm starting to feel like maybe I shouldn't have done this challenge. 
whatever it's interesting it's interesting to see that you know, sometimes when you're doing tutorials and stuff you just have to do something different you know, for my channel to be not that boring because I feel like in my tutorials I, I never make any you know, jokes and I don't know some kind of humor maybe I should add that but you know it's not like something that I can do consciously it's not like I can train myself to be better at humor I don't know these lines are looking good but they're kind of going out of the region though out of the borders the borderline man no, does not even look like cross hatching <laughs> Whatever. Shade under the nose. Some shade on this side. I've drawn. You know, so, sometimes I like to add the shade on the side. Sometimes I don't like to do that. It's it really depends on my mood. And also on, on the situation of course of the drawing. Because sometimes it depends on the uh whether it's it's blocking some light there or something. Of course, some shadows under a fringe, but it looks like I'm just thickening the line now. Doesn't even look like shadows, like on on that side. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and then actually I'm not gonna do that. Okay, whatever. I'm sorry, guys, because I, <laughs> it has been like that for the whole video. I'm not gonna suddenly change the change and zoom and you know, whatever and also I'm gonna shade the eyes which is gonna be really hard too because the iris require um really really um intricate shading which is something that I'm not very good at with my left hand oh, I'm just gonna have a shade like that that's probably enough no, this one isn't quite good either. It's just a little bit better than that. But yeah, also I've been doing that with my free H pencil. What did I do? I did a change pencil? Did I even did, did I even mention that? I don't know. But whatever, I'm just gonna shade more of the shirt. On here too. Did I even yeah I did, but it's kind of invisible. I'm also gonna shade a little bit there and then a little bit there. It's kind of invisible. I'm gonna shade the whole part here. Ah, what is this? <laughs> what is this wavy line? <sighs> Not this. This kind of shading is just some kind of lines instead of. Cross hatching still work though, and tattoo is to an extent. Okay. Now, I think we're done. So, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Hope you guys learned something new. No, it's not like something that uh, you guys can learn something new, except for I suck at drawing my left hand. And also that I, I should have drawn this one on the right side instead of drawing them on the left side and also I kind of forgot to shade under the eyebrow because she's kind of you know, annoyed so the eyebrow is kind of popped out blocking some shadows and um, but it, it's actually better than I expected it's quite good I, I'm satisfied hope you guys are too but I can't expect that because it's honestly isn't that that good compared to left side but whatever thank you guys for watching <laughs> and i will be back with another video probably a tutorial pretty soon so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel see you, see you guys in the next video goodbye